So what's up guys I'm Mesh from TechMesh and hope you are doing well. So today I will show you that how you can add an SSD to your laptop and make your laptop faster. You can use your SSD and hard disk together if you have CD-ROM in your laptop like I have in my laptop. So I will show you that how you can add the ssd and after adding it then you can clone your windows from your hard disk to your ssd without reinstalling anything okay so for that you will need an hdd caddy like i have showed you in my video here and my ssd is 128 gb so you need to buy the s the required space you need for your ssd okay and you also need to buy your hard disk or hdd caddy by matching your laptop cd-rom dimension so my dimension is as you can see in here 9.5 mm make sure that you have the right caddy dimension that your laptop is required okay so you can find it from the online by searching with your laptop model so now let's put it aside and let's move on with our video and before getting started don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one so now i didn't inserted anything yet so just let me show you the current state of my windows so just let me right click on here and click on task manager and then here in task manager we will go to performance and in performance here we will go to disk so we can see that we have only one disk and it is disk 0 so just if i click on here you can see that it is around 1 terabyte okay 932 gb to be precise so let me just close it and now if i go to this pc then here you can see this is my local disk c which has around 229 gb allocated if i just right click on uh, my c drive and click on properties then you can see that i my c drive is currently used 80 gb so 120 gb ssd is fine for me so depending on your used space you can make sure that how much ssd you need so after buying the proper amount of ssd then you need to open your laptop and you need to open your cd-rom from your laptop okay and then you can see a metal portion extra metal portion in your cd-rom at the top of your cd-rom so you need to here unscrew it okay as you can see i am doing it so just here let me unscrew it because you will need this metal part metal part to secure your ssd properly with your laptop so just let me do it so I have removed it from my CD-ROM and now you don't need your CD-ROM so you can just let me put it aside and now let's attach the extra metal portion with our SSD caddy. So we also need to do the same we need to just screw it so I will skip this screwing part and also you need to make sure that you have inserted your ssd properly and screw it with your caddy and then you need to insert it to your laptop just like i am doing and then you need to just here screw it properly with your laptop motherboard cache so just let me do it you can see that i here i have only one screw so it would be it would vary from laptop model to model so you need to screw it make sure that it doesn't wobble or anything and also an extra plastic portion you will you would find in your cd-rom so you need to remove it from your cd-rom and you need to add it to your caddy so that your laptop physically look exactly same from the outside okay so i have removed it from my cd-rom and add it to my caddy and now i will just screw the back plate here in the back of my laptop so our physical portion of doing thing is done so now you need to screw it and then i have opened my laptop the fast boot might take a couple of seconds more so don't worry about it so after opening just go to this pc here 
and in your this PC you can see that there is nothing about your SSD here you need to just click on computer and in computer you need to just click on manage okay just click on manage so as you can see now it might take a couple of seconds longer than usual so don't worry or don't freak out okay so now your computer management will open so here what you need to do is just go to here go to storage and under storage you will find disk management just double click on your disk management and here you can see it has automatically detected your ssd so just let me close it and now you can see that we have our ssd here as unallocated 111 gb unallocated so it is our disk one so we have now an extra disk and our ssd is detected properly so now you need to download this software called disk genius the link will be in the description below so the installation process is simple so i after installing and opening it then you need to just go to this tool section here and then here you would find system migration so just click on system migration and it is a free software so here you need to select your target so our target is to, to install it to our ssd so we have selected our target and then also here you would find at the top source disk so here you need to select your local disk c to clone your windows or wire your in which drive your windows is installed in my case it is c drive so i have selected it you can see that i have just clicked on it and after selecting your target disk and your source disk here you can see we have two options when finish change computer boot sequence just tick mark on here and here you would find two options one is automatically set to boot from migrated target system and another is to enter bios and manually set it so i have selected the first one and then here you can see an option so here just click on reboot to win pe okay so just click on reboot to win pe so now just sit back and relax because it may take a several minute depending on your system so now just click on yes and now your system will restart so i will be back after the restart process has completed okay so now you can see that your computer would do it automatically everything you don't need to do anything okay so your computer would just open and your disk genius would do its job so let the software do its job so you can also use other software if you find it for free or if you want to pay for it and here you can see that in this software it is showing us some estimated time so i will not work with you for, for the whole process i will just skip this part because you don't need to do anything here so now the process is done so just let me show you if i just right click and go to task manager and go to performance you can see that we have two disks okay so this is our disk 0 or our hard disk and this is our disk 1 or our ssd and you can also see the capacity here 112 gb and then if we just go to this pc you can see that our local disk c is now 111 gb because it is now installed in our ssd so you can see all the program is exactly same in our c drive we didn't need to install anything and this is our previous c drive so you can just here format this c drive so i will show you that how you can do how you can format it so you need to just right click on your previous c drive because you don't need it anymore just click on format and then here here just click on default allocation size okay you don't need to select anything else just click on start and then just click on ok so then after the format is complete just click on ok and now just you can see that you can use this drive however you wish so that's it now i would do any speed test so that's how you can add an ssd to your laptop and copy your windows from your hard disk to your ssd all by yourself
so if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you have any question or any suggestion then let me know this in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one so i am matched from techmatch and i am signing out